Item number, SCP-422. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-422 is to be contained in a 3.5 meter by 3.5 meter room. The room is to be kept bare, save for SCP-422's bedding, water bowl, and a dog toy provided by Dr. SCP-422 is to be fed twice a day, on a strictly carnivorous diet. SCP-422 may be fed any type of raw meat, provided in portions appropriate for a medium to large sized dog. All meat must be carefully boned, as consuming bone can cause data expunged and other anomalies with SCP-422's hide. SCP-422 is to be monitored by security cameras placed in its enclosure, as well as two guards armed with tranquilizers stationed at the door. Though the creature has shown no interest in escaping or unprovoked hostility, it has the capability of doing so. Description SCP-422 is a large quadruped, 83 centimeters at the shoulder and weighing 53 kilograms, though size and weight vary minutely from day to day. SCP-422 is constructed entirely out of large pieces of the bodies of other animals, stitched in place with muscle fiber and trace amounts of cartilage. The creature's major organs appear to be composed of portions of other organs, though a given organ will only be made of portions of that type of organ, e.g. Its heart is made of connecting chambers of other hearts. It has a flat face, with two mismatched eyes, one green cat-like eye, and one brown with a horizontal pupil, like a goat. Its nose consists of two small slits just below the eyes, and its mouth is abnormally wide, stitched about the corners in such a way that it appears to be grinning. Its back legs are also much longer than its front legs resembling a frog's legs, with an abnormal number of joints. SCP-422's body lacks stability. No patch or organ will stay the same for an extended period of time, with the shortest shift occurring after 6 hours, and the longest after 25 hours. There is no pattern to these changes, though a single patch will not change more than once within an 18-hour period. The patches will occasionally respond to outside stimulus, such as producing heavy fur or thick leathery hides in colder conditions. SCP-422's brain is constructed in the same fashion as its other organs, leading to the development of odd traits, as different portions of its brain shift and change, possibly due to the original construction. Many characteristics remain consistent throughout shifts, including Poor motor control Very poor short and long-term memory often unable to remember events from several weeks ago, or even several minutes ago. Frequent deafness in one or both ears. Numbness and lack of sensation in the extremities, including unnatural tolerance to pain. Lack of facial recognition. Will not recognize itself in a mirror or photograph, and may even show fear of its own reflection. Color blindness, though this diminishes as intelligence increases. Additionally, SCP-422's intelligence can range anywhere from that of an average house cat to a seven-year-old child, with the average being that of a five- or six-year-old. Dr. has been keeping extensive records of daily fluctuations in SCP-422's intelligence, physical traits, and patch count. More information on Dr. studies can be found at Data Expunged. Lesson Complete if you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-421, Shoal of Driftwood, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.